It's Buffy time. It's Buffy time. And for those of you who only watch our Buffy reactions, hey, look, we're in a new spot. <gasps> yeah, hey, and by, look. look. By new spot, it's the old spot, but slightly redecorated, and we can touch each other. Yeah. With consent. Yeah. Emotionally, <laughs> physically. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. We're all backed up. We're all social distanced in our everyday lives. We're all taking everything's really, really smart and uh, washing our hands at every chance we can. Yes. So, yeah, make sure we're um, doing the same. Yes, it's appropriate you said that because I was going to say this episode is far from touching and also not clean. Okay, I am super <laughs> excited. I am stuttering here for a second because I don't know if it's going to happen right now. I don't think it's really a spoiler since it happened on Angel. Yeah. With Willow came to Angel yes. to come and get somebody yes. who may be returning uh-huh. to this universe yep. at this episode. Yes. And can I just say, I'm really excited as she comes in. I'm really excited as she comes in. <laughs> Let's well. do it. Bring on the faith. <laughs> Nathan Billion! Hi! Look, the firefight class you all right? is just jumping up everywhere now. <laughs> well, you didn't happen to fall in with devil worshippers, did you? Uh. I'm sorry. Is there some place you'd like me to drop you? You hit it someplace? Sunnydale. I'm going there myself. I ain't never been, but I expect we could find a police station or... A... I just need to get to Ravello Drive. Call me Caleb. There was nobody's daddy. Mm. I'm Shannon. You feel like telling me why those freaky Joes were after you? I'm not sure. Oh, do you ever think that maybe they were chasing you because you were a whore? Crazy preacher man spouting off at the mouth about uh, whore Babylon or some such. That ain't me. I'm not here to lecture. Ain't no room for words of truth. Well, you know what you are, Shannon? Dirty. What? I'm not. What now, are you now, no, no, no. There's no blame here. But you were born dirty. Born without a soul. You were awful chatty for a person you just met. <laughs> yeah, that their door is problematical. I don't know as I could recommend stepping out at this speed anyway. And of course, there's my boys back there. Well, they hate to miss the mark. Your boys. Well, they ain't exactly my blue eyed boys, but uh, they're hard workers. <laughs> and I don't like backseat drivers. Please, don't hurt me. You got nothing I want to explore. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now that's a cleansing fire. Hmm. I don't now I want you to deliver a message for me, but it's not for them. It's for the other one. The one and only, the original, except no substitute slayer. Would you tell her something for me? Yes. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> now. Nathan! <laughs> what we can't do about that door. Yeah, the Firefly group are bad guys. And I just got to the dollhouse okay? where. Can you hear me? Can Walsh is also. Bleeding badly. We have to get her to the hospital. <laughs> yep. I guess I'm back in Sunnydale. Hey, listen. She was gonna be okay. Buffy knows what she's doing. I never had a real boyfriend, you know? Yeah? I've never been with a man. Could die tomorrow. Don't. 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 I've never been with a man. Well, um... Uh, I've never been with a man before, either. She's on the OC. Colleen. I was. I've never been with her in front this of a, a dream? man before. I've never been with her in front of a man, either. Um... Xander. We can't. We're so scared. The others might hear us. Mm. No, they won't. They're okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie! A pillow fight looks like fun, but like, <laughs> no need to do it in our underwear. Look at that. <laughs> Fully clothed. Big pajama. Love it. Dominique has a stomach flu and the toilet bowl is backed up. I'll be right out. Something's killing girls all over the world, trying to end the Slayer line. Thing like that, figure I might get a heads up. Faith. Hmm? I guess it doesn't really matter as long as you got the true Slayer intact. <laughs> you were in prison. We figured you were safe there. Yeah, that's prison. Safe as a kitten. Sorry. Did something happen in there? Someone came at me with a nasty looking knife. 
didn't really know why. Until now. Faith, we didn't... Forget it. It's cool. I get by. What are we gonna do about her? I, I guess we should find Buffy. Somebody should wait here in case she wakes up. Fine, sit tight. I'll be back. Well, well, it's, uh, Look about yourself. You, meeting Buffy alone isn't the best idea. <laughs> I can't stay here, Willow. Spent way too much time in hospitals. We don't click. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll all get along just fine. Hmm? Surely. He is so much bigger now than he was you at this point. Huh? Something like this? Oh, it's training. It's training. It must be Faith. Oh, goody. I'm famous. I told you were coming. Bit of a misunderstanding here. I'm... Spike. Have we met before? We have. I, I remember. Ow. It's not a great, Hell, great memory, doing? but, you know. I'm on your side. Maybe you haven't heard. I've reformed. So have I. <coughs> we're on the same side. Please, you think I'm stupid? Well, yeah. You were attacking that girl. <coughs> Sorry, Faith. I didn't realize that was you. It's all right, B. Luckily, you still punch like you used to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You protecting vampires? Are you the bad slayer now? Not a good slayer now? He's with the soul. He has a soul. He's like Angel? No. Sort of. I'm nothing like Angel. He fights on my side. He's like, mm, this is gonna More be than fun. I can say for some of us. <laughs> yeah, well, if he's so good, what's he doing chasing down defenseless? <laughs> That's one of the bad guys. You should make him wear signs. <laughs> oh, I thought it was training for being a player, blah, blah, blah. May I? Thanks. Angel's dull as a table lamp. And we have very what? different coloring. Anything else I gotta know? Nice to have you back. Yeah, this would be so weird Whoa. if you didn't watch Angel and you not know what was going on right now. Yeah. There are well, people who have. The piece of furniture has been destroyed and replaced since you left, so actually, a new house. We have a new house guest. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hello, Don, who kind of I know and I don't. Is there some nice hotels that welcome tried to kill your sister types? Check it out. Brats all woman size. Look, I need to get to the hospital. Charles was part of a plan to kill me. For Buffy's own good. Well, that makes me feel better about me. Worse about Giles. Kind of shaky about you. Mm. Looking for the Lord in the wrong damn places. And then you showed me the light. Do you think I'm God? The first. I certainly do not. I am beyond concepts like that. But you still wear the outfit. Man can't turn his back on where he come from. Besides, black is slimming. Everyone knows that. <laughs> How do you like what I'm wearing? Just another dirty girl. And since you only dress up in dead folk, I'm guessing one has already been paid her wage. Look hard. What do you see? Strength. And the loneliness that comes with real strength. Nothing about my hurt and bouncy hairdo? You're her. The slayer. At long last. Can it only be dead people? Yeah. And so, Buffy did die. All Twice. This time, <laughs> all the work I've done for you. Blown up the council. And you'll be meeting her soon. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'll get the message. And what makes you so sure she'll come? Curiosity. Woman's first sin. I offer her an apple. What can she do but take it? I mean, I was gonna comment on that, but I mean, like, he he's not wrong. I'm very curious about a lot of things. <laughs> Faith, a set of principles or beliefs upon which you're willing to devote your life. But like so many tragic heroes, Faith was seduced by the lure of the dark side. So she cool. wrapped evil around her like a large I still think evil she's so Mexican cool. serape. She's she got bad moments, we all know. blooded it's killer. So cool. Nobody was immune to her trail of destruction, not friends, not even the most pacifist and logical of races. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I thought Faith killed a Vulcanologist. <laughs> not a Vulcan. <laughs> Silly. He studied volcanoes. He was a professor. Ah, yes. <laughs> well, regardless, <laughs> she's a killer. Never forget that. You must Says stand guard the killer. on faith at all times. Your very lives may depend on it. I don't have time for your vendetta. Yeah. But I need you in this fight. That means a lot. <sighs> You're fired. What? Effective Ooh. immediately. 
You've got things to deal with that are much worse than anything here. Look at the big picture. I don't want to lead them into war. It can't be the right thing. Most wars aren't, you know. Some of these girls haven't even been tested in battle. Then I guess maybe you should test them. You craving a moment alone in the dank? Become friends, but not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you can smoke all you want. Well, I mean, you wanted it at one point. At one point. I thought they'd be a better couple. Eternity. It's not what it looks like. This one guy I ran with, he'd like me to dress up like a schoolgirl and take this friggin' bull whip, and I'd be I like, dangerous for a while. <laughs> it's before the solar after. After, but I got over it. If you're all repenty, it takes the fun out of it. Movie every third Sunday could have been worse. What movie? Last one was Glitter. <laughs> I guess it couldn't have been worse. <laughs> you had the power to walk away any time. I stopped me. Yeah, you made a great impression on the chin. Not in the graveyard. Before that, I was kind of wearing a different body. The body swap with Buffy. That one episode. Yeah. She fill you in on that old deal? She told me it went down. Hey, B. Uh, not the best <laughs> picture nice to walk to in you. on. You're getting along so well. Uh, you just know all the cool vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Willow just called from the hospital. Ouch. What does the brand mean? You told me to give the Slayer a message. What is it? I have something of yours. Now we've got a new player in town. Dresses but like a teacher. Calls himself Caleb. Fine. I'm getting it back. And you guys are coming with me. You got your urges. Woman's got hers. Man's got his. Okay. Belly cut. That's a clean blade, though. Ha! <sighs> huh. Because it didn't actually kill him. <sighs> Most people don't like visits from their dead, you know. Do it again. I take requests. One of those potentials you've killed, perhaps? No, save them for later. Back before I met you, there was this choir girl in Knoxville. I used to give singing lessons to. This is what he gets off on. Okay. Show me her. To all these girls. They followed you willingly. As for following, Will, that seems to be what they do best. We need to start arming the girls. I want to be ready to move when we find them. We don't even know where we're going. That's why I figured we'd do a little recon first. We, you don't even know what this man has of yours. If he, in fact, has mm -hmm. anything. It could be a girl. A potential trying to yeah. get to us. Could be a stapler. Going in anyway. With the girls? <laughs> Most of whom have, uh, have yet to be in the field, let alone in a life or death situation. It's time we test uh, them. Why is Giles me at this point? The, longest. the rest can stay behind. <laughs> Willow said you needed me. Didn't give it a lot of thought. Do you... Am I getting you want me to be not here? I'm glad that you're here. It's good. Thank you. How is he? Better. Had to do this whole magical mind walk with him. You were in Angel's mind? Buffy. <laughs> That's all she got from that? Look, there's like, more we, Watch the show. We don't need to know. <laughs> I've been through more battles with Buffy than you all can ever imagine. She stopped everything that's ever come up against her. She's laid down her life literally to protect the people around her. This girl has died two times and she's still standing. You're scared, that's smart. But you doubt her motives, you think Buffy's all about the kill, then you take the little bus to battle. And I'm telling you right now, she cares more about your lives than you will ever know. You gotta trust her. I mean, it's nice and stuff, She's but how many it. speeches have these people heard? <laughs> it's true. That one was Damn. touching. I don't yeah, know it was sweet were. that she heard it. <laughs> I get that now. What is this place? It's just so dark. Looks like an old vineyard. Just need to find out where. Shouldn't be too hot. Hmm. <laughs> uh, ow. And he was eager to get in there. Not bad. I kind of expected at least one to get well, like, now. injured. You girls are just burning dead, with injured. righteousness, aren't you? Now, I hope my boys haven't worn you out too much. I need you fit for when I purify you. Save the sermon, Padre. I heard you have something in mind. You like my little message, did you? You know, I ruined a perfectly good knife on that girl. Got her soiled blood all over the place. I may need to get a new truck. So you're the Slayer. Soiled the blood. Slayer. Wow. The 
strongest, with that most precious invention of all mankind, the notion of goodness. Slayer must indeed be powerful. <coughs> what else you got? <laughs> So he's not just a man. Ow, ow, ow. Miss, I do believe you have your own problems you should be worried about. Ooh, ow. Oh, good. There's more of you. Well, you're the other one, aren't you? The cane to her, Abel. No offense meant to cane, of course. as much for the good book. Oh, cool, oh, nice, has <gasps> Paul has some good stuff, for instance. But overall, I find it a tad complicated. I like to keep things simple. <laughs> Clean folk, dirty folk. No! Oh, well, yeah. yeah, somebody had to. Sandra, get them out of here. I work in mysterious ways. Come on! You're the one who sees everything, aren't you? Oh shit! Ooh! Oh. There once sure was a woman. For Adam's rib was dirty, just like Adam himself. For what was he? But him. But this woman, she was filled with darkness despair and why she didn't know the good news the glory that was coming that'd be you <laughs> for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours you show up they'll get in line because they followed her and all they have to do is take one more step and i'll kill them all i told you it had a happy ending i don't understand his power where it comes from yet so maybe it's just something that first has gifted him or what it is, but he obviously has been killing women for a very long time because they're dirty. <laughs> yes. Well, they're not, but yes. I don't love them using the preacher trope. I really don't. I feel often two times we haven't even touched on religion too much aside from just the crosses everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then every time we have to show somebody like that, it's in a bad light. And I'm just like, I get it. We didn't. I know you don't like religion and... We could go on a whole story about that. I'm just going to go ahead and just point it out. I just really wish they could have just made him a bad dude without having to be preacherish. And I guess that's the juxtaposition. It's like, oh, this should be a good person that people want to come towards or whatever. But it's always, it's always bad. And I just hate that in media. So just don't like that. Don't like that. But and Nathan Villian, what did it happen to you? <laughs> I agree. But especially... In certain southern areas of this country, there are twisted preachers who run weird cults that get a little weird. I, I do agree. It is a trope that is way stale at this point. I just find for a show that relies so heavily on the cross feature and the convenience of religion for that. For, sure. For vampires would at least at one point or other have a character, even if it was as, as minute as one of the background slayers, have the opposite of religion. Like, religion is her way of coping. I don't know if it was intentional, but I think the creators of the show took credit for being intentional. And with, there's a Halloween episode where they're at the magic box and Xander is dressed up as a pirate with an eye patch. Oh. Now, granted, I believe it's on the opposite eye. Yeah, this is the one I got. Fingered. Yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Good eye. Um, but a lot of people asked if that was like intentional it's and like, it yeah. was like foreshadowing and they of course said yes, of course. And it's hard to tell if it's true or not because there is often foreshadowing like this in the mm -hmm. show. So there's a fun little possible foreshadowed moment. It's fun to see the risk though. We finally got to see the risk. She kept talking about losing girls and there might be casualties and things may happen. Yeah. And we didn't get to see the risk and now we finally get to see the risk even with one of the main characters. So Xander has one less eye. Faith yeah. is back and yeah. we got to get all these fun flashbacks. It was like an homage yeah. to her. Yeah. 
How rude. How rude of Andrew. I cannot believe he did that. That was so Make, make her fight rude. Spock? No, just like, <laughs> tell all these movies, be like, be warned. Be warned of her. She's a murderer. It's like, you little hypocrite and a half. That's so Shut true. Up. She probably sincerely did need the space away from people. I, I can only imagine what it's like in prison and what it would be like to be watched 24 seven, especially when you had the ability to break out at any point yeah. and had to, it was interesting to see her choosing to be by herself. Yeah. We knew it was going to happen. Um, but the automatic response, and I get it from where we left off in Buffy, the automatic response of everybody just being like, get the out, just get out. We don't want you here. We don't you want you staying with us. Get out. Uh, especially Dawn, just in that. I get it. I see it. But it's also one of those things that I'm just like, don't you dare just throw her same in the box that made her the way she was in the first place. I, if she, I don't feel like we have enough of the season left to actually like have her fall down the rabbit hole of being evil again. But if she stays <laughs> around these people for forever, it, she totally would. It would she be would. so unnecessary. It would be so extra if that would happen in this season. <laughs> if Faith needs to come here, help them beat the big bad, and then leave. She does not need to stay here because these well, you people never know. put her in that mindset. This this season, if there's any theme that's continuous throughout, it's reunion. But imagine also you've tried to reform yourself, you've gone to prison, you have you're like, come on guys. yourself in prison. It's, Immediately when you come back, people are like, you're a murderer, get out. Yeah, it's, it's like, you asked me to be here. So I really did enjoy her moment with Spike down in the basement. Not necessarily like, ooh, they might get it on. But I mean, like, they would have been better partners earlier on, but not now. It's weird now. But <laughs> it was nice to see them being buddy-buddy. Oh, and Giles was 100% correct. Buffy had to give it a go. We always wait for the bad guys to come to us. Let's just go straight for the bad guys. But that didn't work very well. And a lot of very likable potentials died in the process, especially the British one. She was my favorite. Yeah. We're getting close to the end, guys. If you're new to the channel, by the way, please like this video. I'm sorry I'm doing it, but I got to do it sometimes. And subscribe to our channel because you're going to see how we wrap up this. And if you've been with us all along, it's going to be bittersweet when it finally happens. But if you want to see anything early, also, we are still a week ahead on Patreon. So don't forget about that. Too. That's right. In full length. So, yes. And we have merch. So you should check out our merch store as well, which you can see the links all down below. All right, guys. This was another great episode of We Watch Slayerverse with Buffy. And it slayed. Something in my eye. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. Okay. It's not a tear, I swear. <laughs> From that episode. Shut up! I'm not crying, you're crying! <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching and thanks for your, all of your support by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and uh, staying notified. And Make sure you subscribe to our Patreon.